Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Kagam. As you can see, I have a Versace shopping bag here. So of course it means it's time for a Versace unboxing. Um, we have a lot to talk about. I bought this from the boutique in Sandton City. But before we get started, let me come a bit closer. Um, before we get started with this fun unboxing that's coming up, please consider fully subscribing to my channel. So many of you are watching my videos lately and you're particularly watching my unboxings and hauls which by the way are on a playlist which I, I will link the playlist below if you want to watch all of them one like one after the other but you're not subscribing so please correct that subscribe some of you are subscribed and then youtube unsubscribes you resubscribe yourself honey and turn on notifications it's important um it's important more just for bragging rights i saw some people like commenting on this other channel like why are youtubers always saying like oh subscribe if and but saying that they don't care and all this stuff it's just important for our ego okay so without further ado after i've begged you guys to subscribe <laughs> let me show you what i got from versace um in south africa at the boutique at samson city um in johannesburg so went there obviously you know i was there because i will have my johannesburg vlog by the way coming up this is the shopping bag course the medusas all around love it um so i picked up some sunglasses um so this is the packaging um i'll add some pictures and some cutaways um so i got these sunglasses these are the um medusa greca sunglasses there's some there's a there's like a i think a um what's it called there is a like like a sheet in order to clean not a sheet that the the i can't speak today the cloth um, to clean it and um, so that it's nice and clean so this is how it looks like here like that so open it up here and there are these gorgeous oh my god they're so gorgeous here are my beautiful new sunglasses from big versace honey let me put them on but i'm gonna um, I forgot to bring the mirror <laughs> from the bathroom that's in my contour set. Oh my goodness, here they are, these absolutely stunning, beautiful um, new sunglasses that I got from Versace. As you know, Versace is one of my favorite brands and if you're new to my channel but maybe you like Versace, I love the brand. It's one of my favorite houses alongside Louis Vuitton, Cartier and Chanel. I would say that those are like my favorite brands, like hardcore. Um, I love Hermes, don't get me wrong, but like I would say those four brands are like my hardcore favorite houses. Um, and I saw these on the website a few weeks ago and I was like, oh my God, I'm gonna die. They're so gorgeous and beautiful. I love them. They're pink for the love of God. Pink is my favorite color. I'm wearing orange today um, because I was like, let me just wear orange honey but I love pink. Pink is my favorite color. So these are called the uh, Medusa Biggie sunglasses. So they're part of the permanent Biggie uh, collection at Versace, as many of you know, but if you don't know, let me tell you. The Notorious B.I.G., a very famous rapper from the US, God rest him, um, he used to wear a lot of Versace um, in his music videos in the 90s. Um, a lot of brands have been um, performing lately, inclusivity and diversity um, as a business thing. Versace has been about it, honey, since the 90s, literally since the 90s. Versace has been inclusive when it wasn't a thing um, and that is one of the reasons why I love the brand they've never like pretended it's part of who they are and he used to wear a lot of their like sunglasses and stuff in his music videos right so they named um, one of the sunglasses the, the biggie ones the very famous ones um, those were actually I think part of the men's line and then they made them unisex like for men and women so the Medusa biggie line is the biggie line for women basically um, and by the way fun fact Biggie is actually my childhood nickname that my dad um, gave me when I was young because I was um, I was kind of you know kind of I was I was I was big <laughs> okay um, and I'm, I'm a little bit big now but I'm losing weight so I can get, get snatched again and Biggie was actually my childhood nickname not because of the rapper but because that was just a childhood nickname I was given by my dad and other people in my family it's not offensive it's just a fun childhood nickname in fact there's still people in my family who call me Biggie so when I saw these I was like I love them because it's also my like childhood nickname Biggie um, so yeah these are the very beautiful Medusa Biggie sunglasses so let me put them on so you can see how they look like on me 
I'm gonna get my phone so I can look at my face. <laughs> um, oh God, I love these sunglasses so much. Like I literally am dying because I love them so much. Like I love them. Oh my goodness, I can't. These sunglasses are everything, okay? Like, I just, I'm, I'm even taking a picture right now <laughs> with them on as I'm filming. Um, so I just wanted to show you um, how they look like on me. I might actually add a cutaway video <laughs> and film it right now <laughs> um, and put it um, in the video. What do you guys think? I just love to know what you guys think of these sunglasses. I love them, they're beautiful. Okay, so these are the Medusa Biggie sunglasses in with the pink uh, lens. I've only ever seen them in pink. I have not seen them um, in any other color. Obviously pink is my favorite color. So the moment I saw these, I was like, I'm going to literally melt down. I love them so much. They're so gorgeous and beautiful. I think these are just so perfect for summer. These are perfect for here. Spring is around the corner. I feel like if you love pink, you need to get these. I'll link them below on the Versace website. You can just go check them out on um, Versace's site itself. The lens is very clear. And a lot of times with these um, sunglasses, which, which have this like really strong Y2K um, vibe a lot of the times um, the lenses are like are not particularly clear the lens is very clear um, but it will re it is th these sunglasses are going to be high maintenance high maintenance I can just tell um, because they're going to require like constant cleaning which is fine I did try them on obviously um, after I bought them and I wore them for like a few hours so if you see uh, if you see a few little smudges it's like only because I've already like worn them um, for a few hours which I hope is uh, okay um, because I just love them so much. Let me just quickly take a picture. I love these sunglasses. <laughs> um, this is such a meta organic video because I literally just can't stop. Like I haven't worn them out yet, um, but I love them. Um, there's a Medusa um, head on the side here, which I think is so cute. And there's another one um, here. So far, they don't have that problem that the original Versace sunglasses I bought last year, which were also Medusa, uh, called Medusa, um, had. And those sunglasses put a lot of pressure on uh, the back of my ear here. A lot of you guys were like, oh, take them to the opticians. I was just couldn't be bothered to deal with the stress of dealing with them, so I chucked them away. I just threw them away. <laughs> I just was like, I'm done with them. I threw them away. Um, so. You know, I, I know that people are into like, you know, selling their things and stuff. I just, that's just not me, okay? I use things when I'm done with them, I move on, I throw them away and I'm just done with them. Um, like if, if I've used it and I did use them and everything, but after a while they just became very uncomfortable. These ones so far are feeling nice and light, but I'll report back in a, like, let's say, in one month because um, I'm definitely going to wear these on my travels like going to Europe and going to the UK and going to the USA because those are like the trips I have coming up in Q1 um, so I will definitely wear these on my travels I just think they're so me um, I love sunglasses as well from Dior I think Dior makes some really cute ones Big Gucci makes some really cute ones as well and so do Bottega Veneta so I'll go check out some from Bottega Veneta I really like um Loewe's um sunglasses as well so when i go to europe i'd love to um just you know try them all on and see what works for me i also really like louis vuitton sunglasses i think they make some really cute ones i think louis vuitton's are also very well priced these were very well priced as well so let me just quickly tell you how much these were and then we'll talk about the experience i'll take them off at some point because <laughs> i need to get serious now while talking to you guys um so this is the receipt um from versace it says Versace Santon. Um, uh, it says Versace Santon, and they were four thousand two hundred, four thousand two hundred and ninety-five rand. That is, um, that is how much they cost it. Four thousand two hundred and ninety-five rand. By the way, the Versace um, boutique in uh, Santon. 
is a franchise it is not company owned by Versace but if you go on the Versace website it's like officially acknowledged by the house of Versace so it's an official franchise location I feel like franchises um I feel like now brands are moving away from that business model um I don't know a lot about this store um the experience at the boutique um it wasn't great like the first experience um it wasn't great but it wasn't as bad as the experiences that i had at the two versace boutiques which are company owned in paris um at avenue montaigne and rue saint honore and i want to kind of chat about the versace scene and the everyone who shops at versace i think is basically aware that the way versace is in terms of the shopping experience and what i have found is that it's very much dependent on the boutique where you shop and the essay who serves you some versace essays are very like you know friendly and warm and they of course want to you know sell you a lot of ready to wear and they're very driven to sell a lot of clothing a lot of ready to wear i think others just don't care they're just like ah whatever i do not care um so it depends also on the essay that you get but also what ready to wear you buy there's no question you really have to be buying ready to wear um at versace um in order to like build a really strong profile there um, I did ask if the profiles were linked um, and they said they weren't linked with Milan or Paris or anything like that. Obviously Versace's um, headquarters is in Milan. They were like, no, it's not linked over there. So they couldn't see my uh, spending that I had done at the Avenue Montaigne because obviously I picked up those sunglasses. Um, I was like, oh, okay. Um, so when I walked in there, no one greeted me. Um, but honestly, the I came back another day with my husband and no one said hello to us either again and there were some other clients um, in the store looking around no one said hi to them either because <laughs> everyone got blanked I saw another client walk in she got blanked as well um, so I was observing everyone just walking into the store get blanked um, so I'm kind of thinking that Versace's like vibe there is just more to wait and see like if they, they just kind of leave you alone to browse um, I don't know whether it's because they get a lot of people who are browsing and it's not a personal attack on the boutique or anything because I want to shop there so you know I'll be back there in a few months you know to shop and pick up other items but it's definitely a little bit it, it definitely is giving cool vibes honey 24 for books and on array um it does remind me of the Hermes shopping culture um Hermes at Faubourg is kind of like that like you walk in um, you, you, everyone blanks you basically until you look like you're gonna buy something you get blanked um, <laughs> um, so for such a and big cage honey um, have a lot in common in that regard and that is a vibe that I got um, when I was shopping there that you just blanked until you say you want to buy something so I approached an essay who was packing things away in the men's section I was like oh I'm looking for swimsuits and she was like uh, we have some she then went to the back they didn't have them on display she went to the back and brought them out um, but they didn't have my size at Versace I wear an Italian 46 on the top half if it's like skin tight if it's a loosely fitted garment an Italian 44 but let's say 44 46 um, it depends on the garment and the fabric of the garment and what is made from the garment I found that Versace's cotton um, is very figure hugging because I obviously bought that crop top which was made of organic cotton it's very figure hugging so it depends on the way that the garment is cut um, so she brought out some uh, swimsuits from the back that weren't displayed um, but I didn't find anything in my size it was a really cute beautiful Greco one I told her I was like I want the Greco ones she had some bikinis I was like I don't wear bikinis um, there was a very beautiful Greco one as I said in pink but again it wasn't in my size it was in an Italian 44 at that price point honey it needs to fit my body and of um, and then another thing don't forget is the Versace website has lots of sizes on there so I'm not gonna like buy a size that's not my size just to say I bought a Versace swimsuit in South Africa when I could order one um, on Louisa via Roma that is literally fits my body you know perfectly or through the site and have the item forwarded to me or just wait to go traveling and you know get it in person at another Versace boutique where there'll be other sizes um so I think at first she was just kind of like whatever and then she was like, you know, okay, well, we don't have the sizes you want for the swimsuits that you want. I was like, fine, do um, you have sunglasses? They did, so I was looking at them and then I saw those sunglasses. I was like, oh my God, those are the sunglasses, I love them. And then once I said I'll get the sunglasses, that's when 
she kind of warmed up a little bit and was like oh we have other ones she's like well, we have these and she was telling me about the other ones that they had tried on a few others my phone um, ran out of storage so i was meaning to like to take pictures of myself and videos of myself in the mirror trying on the other ones they had some really nice ones they had the medusa ones they had the greco ones they had all the ones that are up to date that are on the website so they have a lot of up-to-date stuff um so then i made my profile there I bought them, um, they had lots of silks, they had lots of the silk press a they had a lot of the Greco monogram ready to wear, they had Medusa bags, they had the Greco goddess bag, which by the way looks way better in person. Um, I know that there's a lot of like, people are unsure about Versace's handbags and are they nice, are they really beautiful? They're really, really beautiful. Um, they look very, very good, particularly the, the Medusas that are just, the Medusa bags that are just one color, I'm definitely much more interested. They have good stock in there, it's very well stocked it's just a different vibe i think if you're used to um you know essays running all over you offering you drinks and offering you all of these things like you're not gonna get that there <laughs> and maybe unless you buy a bunch of clothing i think maybe they do offer you drinks if you buy ready to wear um but because Versace is a ready to wear brand all of us who like the brand we know the way the Versace shopping culture is like definitely if you go and like buy ready to wear you're definitely going to get different treatment but i must say I'm, i think because i'm just used to the dragging at this point because of the channel also my experiences in paris um i was wearing the Versace jeans couture top that day um but like i just feel like I, I just feel like a lot of these brands like when clients walk in and like i said uh the mothership boutique for big h is similar to this they don't say hello they don't like wait when you walk in they don't say hello so, um they just walk around and what i found was well you walk around what i found um particularly with big h and which reminds me of my experience at versace just now was at Faubourg like you can walk around no one will say hello no one will talk to you but the moment the minute you touch something or look like you're interested in picking up an item then an essay will approach you like a jack-in-the-box be like okay hey you know it's kind of similar over there like they ignore you and then when you look like you're interested in something then someone is kind of like lurking just in case you want help it's a different shopping experience i'm not saying it's necessarily uh, right or wrong but it is what it is at this point um so i think that with versace it's very dependent on the boutique and the essay and if you buy ready to wear if you're a ready to wear person um and once they get to know you cause the impression i got was that they want to kind of know you first and know what kind of client you are like are you going to buy the ready to wear the ready to wear is is, is i think well priced but in terms of Africa, it would it will be seen as very expensive. Some of their jumpers are like 750 euros. That is a lot of money um, here. And um, I think that they definitely want to see people who are going to be buying ready to wear. With me, luxury is not, I'm not in a rush. Um, I'm gonna buy things when I want to buy them, when I feel like buying them. That's just kind of how things go for me. And critically, is it in my size? Because I need to be able to find my size at Versace, I can find my size at Chanel, I can find my size at Fendi, and at Big Gucci, I can find my size. I think I can fit into an Hermes 44 for France, because I have seen that Hermes do have 44s. Let's see, you know, if if I like some of their ready to wear. But Tega Vanessa is another brand that I really like, their press of and Ally, and I've seen my sizes there as well. But that just because they have your size on the website does not mean that when you go to the store that they'll have your size, you know? So all in all, um, I'm really happy with the sunglasses that I got. Um, I think another thing is like also in African culture, just culturally, because I'm African and obviously the boutique is in Africa and they're African as well. What I found is that shopping experiences in Africa tend to be quite cold at first until you go there a few times and they get to know you. I had a really good experience at Louis Vuitton, but Louis Vuitton, the vibes at Louis Vuitton is completely different. I, 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 got, I got the feeling when I was shopping at Louis Vuitton Sanson, like they're so proud of that boutique. Like they're so proud that Louis Vuitton is there in the Diamond Walk in Johannesburg and you really feel that everyone is super excited to work there. I feel like Versace is just, it's just the very, it's the cool, it's the cool kid at school who's so cool and she's too cool for school kind of thing. She doesn't want to talk to you, you have to talk to her. 
but I feel like after a while um, they'll probably open up it's just going to take a little bit of time to kind of find your feet there if you like the brand um, it, you really have to be buying ready to wear and ordering press a porte probably for you and your husband my husband likes Versace um, we both like the brand um, but we both notice like wow it's kind of strange how they kind of blank you and then when you say you want to buy something then they speak to you um, like I said it's possible that it's because a lot of people are browsing um, but I think it's part of the whole cool kid ready to wear brand image that the brand has um, obviously I love the brand but I've never shopped at the flagship the headquarter boutique of all the Saches is obviously in Milan. I've never shopped at that flagship. I've heard great things about it and I've heard that they're really, really nice in there. Um, I've also heard good things about the Saches Sloan Street. I think it's on Sloan Street in the UK, so I'll go check those out. And I've heard very good things about the boutique um, in Soho in New York and the boutique in Crystal, the Crystal Shopping Center in Las Vegas. So when I go traveling, of course, I will go to every Versace and, you know, pick up, pick things up and get a feel for the, for the boutiques and see what works. For me, because there's no Versace in Tanzania, and another thing, Versace doesn't even ship um, to Tanzania, which is a shame. They do ship to like Nigeria and South Africa and other African countries. I have I have loyalty to the brand but I don't have loyalty to a store until I find a store that works for me but because that is the boutique that is in Johannesburg I'll be in, I'll be back in Johannesburg in a few months I'll go there again and see you know see, see how things go and see the tea and see what the vibes are like what I will say though is I went to uh, Versace first right um when i bought the sunglasses and then i was walking like around santon city the shopping center with the shopping bag and i actually walked into louis vuitton carrying the shopping bag one tip i have is go definitely if you like this brand go with such a shopping bag i swear to god into any other high-end store you're going to be treated very well because i swear people saw like in shops would see me walking around obviously with this shopping bag because the sunglasses are inside i was just holding it here like this and i swear i was treated better <laughs> because people saw you know the medusa head and the name and were like okay fine i swear to god i was treated better um, for this reason i was telling my husband he was like i believe it you know so versace still has that great um brand um, recognition so like i said it's it's just a personal thing and for me shopping at the brand is more about just shopping at the brand i in an ideal situation i'd just be shopping there but i really enjoy shopping um like around the world where whenever i get the chance to travel and also like i kind of enjoy like taking my time with things i don't feel pressure to buy anything but like i told you i only go to boutiques if i'm planning um to buy something so it's good i have a profile there now it's a franchise boutique though um that which i was like ooh, no crazy about that because that means that the spending i do there won't show up on my main versace profile so i think that for 2023 my approach um with versace is when I travel, I'll build my profile while traveling and try and connect with essays in Europe. Um, now that I have a chance to go to the UK, that's really exciting because I do love the idea of shopping um, at Versace in London where I can speak English with um, essays and stuff. That is very exciting. And then I'll carry on building my profile in Johannesburg and then I'll see which one works for me. I might find that I really enjoy, actually maybe that was just the first time. Um, and maybe when I go a second time and they see me a few times, they're like warm and friendly to me. Oh, I might find that I prefer shopping in Europe. Either way, I'll shop at both um, locations, like in South Africa and Europe, and we'll see what happens. African culture is a very blunt, direct culture. So I, m my husband and I were not surprised. The first time I went there, I went alone. The second time he came with me. Um, and we, we were not surprised. We, we were not surprised um, by the sort of the sort of cold it's kind of cold in there but i feel like like i said it's because they don't know if you're going to buy and until you look like you're going to buy they're just kind of like whatever so it is what it is um it doesn't I, I don't know how to explain it doesn't really bother me because i don't need the essay to be my friend and like i said in africa the shopping culture is not about befriending um essays we don't befriend people here i think people here would see that as being very insincere if you're trying to build a relationship with them or whatever because they don't know you like that 
I hope that makes sense and that doesn't offend people. I know a lot of you are in the Western world and you all like to build relationships with your essays and some of you are friends with essays, you give them presents, you send them gifts. We don't do that here. No one's gonna do that here. <laughs> my money is the gift, boo boo, my money is good enough. So anyway, I love my sunglasses. One more time, here they are, my very beautiful Versace sunglasses. I'm looking forward to building my Versace profile this year. Love these, cannot wait to wear them when I go to Europe, honey. I love them, they're gorgeous, literally. Literally, look at these sunglasses. So gorgeous, obsessed, love them. All right, so I think I'll end the video here. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel. Go join the Facebook group, honey, it's linked below, and also go sign up to my email newsletter. I would love to see you there. And make sure you stay subscribed because on the weekend you'll be seeing my Johannesburg vlog. Tell me if you prefer seeing, by the way, for Paris and Berlin and my other trips coming up, do you want to see my unboxings first, then the vlog? Or would you want to see the, Johann the, the vlog, the travel vlog first, then the unboxings because i was so excited i just wanted to show you guys what i got from louis vuitton and versace so i wanted to show them first but which ones like which one do you prefer let me know thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys um like on the weekend in my next video